Welcome back, viewers. So we've thrown a lot of information at you about HIV and AIDS throughout this series. Yet I'm sure we haven't answered all of your questions. So what we're going to do is go through a few FAQs that we've gotten. And if we still haven't answered your question, feel free to leave them in the comment section. So here's our first question. Our viewer wants to know, if I'm HIV positive, am I prone to getting other STIs? The answer in one word would be yes. But it works both ways. Okay. If a person has an STI, he's more likely to pick up HIV. And if a person is HIV positive, he's more likely to pick up, pick up STIs. Okay. How about this one? If I had oral or vaginal sex with someone that may be HIV positive, but I did not finish, could I get HIV too? Um, when we talk about HIV transmission through the sexual route, whether it's vaginal or oral, we are talking about exchange of fluids, which is either semen or vaginal secretions. But even before the act is complete, there are still secretions yeah. um, and uh, discharges, and these could contain the virus. So unless a barrier has been used, such as a condom, even if it's oral sex, uh, we would ask that person to be tested for HIV. Okay. Um, here's another question. Can HIV keep me from getting a job? Does my employer need to know the status? There really is no law on this at the moment. Um, most jobs do not require a person to say that he is HIV positive as long as, as, long as it doesn't interfere okay. with his job. For example, if you have a doctor who is HIV positive, a surgeon, then it could interfere with his job and therefore it's important for us to know whether that person, the doctor is HIV positive or not. But when it comes to routine jobs in different companies and it's not going to interfere, especially now with the advent of ART, it's not going to interfere with the functioning of that person or his capabilities. Um, it doesn't really make a difference. But there are lots of companies which would ask for a HIV test and it's company to company. There's no law as such on that. Okay. If you guys have any more questions, do head over to the Asha Foundation website for more information. Dr. Glory, thank you so much for being with us and for all this helpful information. Don't forget to leave your comments below and stay tuned to our channel for the latest in health. See you later.